What's up guys, Coach Katie coming to you from my tiny studio. Um, hopefully this is gonna work out, right? So uh, we're looking at Tuesday's workout. All right, so this is Tuesday's workout, 0331. Um, first we're gonna get you guys into your warm up. So we're looking at three rounds of the following movements. Five each side, Turkish sit up, 10 bootstraps, and then six to 10 flying windshield wipers. Okay, so with that Turkish sit up, okay, if you have a small space like me, you can kind of Live this with me. All right, you guys are gonna establish a little bit of space. Get your kettlebell or your dumbbell. All right, do your best to claim some real estate to get your arm and leg out just about 45 degrees. All right, so these two, arm and leg are parallel for each other. You're gonna press up, all right, pack your shoulder. And then we're just going halfway because it's a Turkish sit up. So you're probably elbow, looking up at your implement, hand, screwing hand into the floor, and then coming back down to the elbow, and then to your back. You'll repeat that for five on one side, five on the other. Repeat on the other side. Next, we've got go, uh, guest coach Zeus, if you don't mind him. All right, go over there. Okay, bootstraps. We're looking at finding the bottom of your squat. All right, you guys are gonna establish below parallel here, and then we're going to make sure that you grab the edges of your toeses, hips up while maintaining contact with your feet, hips down. All right, so side angle here, hips up, hips down. Knees out over the toes for 10 reps. Okay, once you finish that, we're moving on a lot, uh, lying windshield wipers. Okay, so for those who haven't tried this before, it's a bit of a challenge for me. Um, I think it's definitely easier to remember to keep your arms out just to the sides like this. It'll give you a little more stability. Okay, so you're going to sort of plant your hands down to the floor and then squeeze your abs on tension. Make sure you're tightening through here, ribs down towards the hips, and then go as far as you can to the left and then as far as you can to the right. Okay, for me, I kind of have to modify the height due to space constraints. I'll give you a little bit of a different angle. All right, but do your best to contact the floor so long as you don't like overarch in your back, okay? Okay, so moving on to the strength, we're gonna be supersetting between two movements, the one arm Z press uh, with a little bit of a tempo. You'll rest uh, as needed, maybe 30, 60 seconds and then you're gonna to go to the kettlebell RDL. With your Z press, you're gonna start, if you're using a kettlebell, with a notch of the sternum, uh, the thumb towards the notch of the sternum. All right, I'm trying to stay upright as I press. One second pause on the top, three seconds on the way down. All right, one, one, two, three, and one. One second pause at the top, one, two, three, Again, if you know this weight's a bit heavy for you, you can change your tempo a little bit. You might not necessarily be able to lower down for three seconds. And again, you can get creative with what implement you're using. Uh, last thing I wanna mention is you can straddle if that's a little bit easier for you. Also, you can kind of do a 10 month position here if you need to, or you can elevate yourself on a book. Okay, so pick your favorite book or your least favorite book Maybe stack up a few of them. I've got two supple leopard episode or episodes, geez, uh, additions here, and this can help me modify for my seat press. All right. Same goes for your kettlebell RDL. All right. This is going to be basically depending on your hamstring length. Goals here are to send your hips back. All right. So you're going to soft knees slightly, but prioritize that push back through the hips. All right, neutral chin, neutral spine. All right, I'm gonna run out of space soon, so this is right about where I stop. I'm actually not going to touch the floor. All right, so now I'm gonna emphasize the tempo. One, two, three, and up. One, two, three, and up. One, two, three, and up. So on and so forth, till you're getting about eight to 12 reps. All right, for me, um, I do not necessarily have the range to stand on a book, but you kind of get the gist. Um, I would step on the books and do it from there. 
okay? All right, for the folks who are not working with a kettlebell, you might wanna see a dumbbell demonstration. So there are a couple of ways you can hold it depending on how uh, comfortable you are with the implement. So this is one way, all right, you're gonna pick this up. All right, you're gonna set up from the top. All right, remember it's three seconds on the way down. So you can hold the uh, dumbbells on the sides just like this. All right, pushing the hips back, feet under the hips. Three seconds down, pushing the hips back, rise and flat back. And this is the other way to hold it. All right, so it just depends on your comfort level, guys. Push back, three, two, one, and up. Okay, moving on. So we're looking at a 20 minute uh, low intensity piece. This will be five dumbbell or kettlebell hang, clean, and jerk for each arm. All right, eight each side, half kneel, chop, and lift. 20 running mountain climbers, and then 20 each weighted side plank. 20 seconds each weighted side plank, or a variation of that, depending on what weight you're working with or how you feel about the side plank. So with the kettlebell and dumbbell clean and jerk each arm, I will show you both. Lucky for me, I've got a 40 pound dumbbell. Um, so I'll start with the kettlebell. We will kind of treat this a little differently depending on what you're using um, and what you're working with. So here we're gonna kind of do a single arm kettlebell swing, right? So again, pushing back through the hips, we just practiced this with a kettlebell RDL, all right? clean and jerk. So you notice I'm dropping under, keeping it very close, giving you a side view, pushing back through the hips, squeezing my button knees, and working my way through it, five on one side and five on the other. All right, so if you're really comfortable with the weight you have, you can always push press to make it a little more challenging. That'll just look like this. Just extending through the hips and the knees. Remember to keep your abs on tension and finish with your biceps by the ears. Okay, good thing I'm all warmed up. We're working with a dumbbell. It will look very similar. Some people will prefer to go between the leg just like you did with the kettlebell. Other people will prefer to go on the outside. I still prefer to go in between, but that's me. So I'll show that first, all right? Clean and jerk dropping under <laughs> and lowering down with control. All right, so on the outside, that is what it will look like. All right, half kneel, chop and lift. Eight each side, all right, so if you are starting with the right knee down, you just wanna make sure that you're starting this uh, uh, lower, on the lower side of your leg. All right, so right side of the leg, right knee down, lift and look. That's a good way to remember it, lift and look. Rotating through the torso a little bit and staring at your kettlebell throughout the movement so you know you're moving and you're not just a block of wood moving your arms. Okay, Woo. Eight each side, so pick something on the lighter side. All right, if your dumbbell's not in the cards, Get creative, see what you got, and you're covered. Last two movements we are looking at is the running mountain climber. So we will kind of get into a tall plank position. All right, your hands are going to be under the shoulders, and you're basically running in place in a tall plank position for 20 total reps. All right, so the last movement that we're working with is the uh, weighted side plank or a variation of that. So just depending on what you've got, um, I don't think any of the weights I have are gonna work for me on a weighted side plank. So I've managed to find something under my sink. Mr. Clean. So I'm gonna get into my side plank first. That's the priority. Okay, so we are going to have the guest, co guest coach step to the side, please. I'm the demo. Okay, elbow under the shoulder. All right, hips high, hips straight, in line with the shoulder. And we're going to get set up. All right, so stacking best we can, holding 20 seconds, all right? If you feel like this is not even challenging, you don't find a really like a, a, a appropriate weight for your weighted side plank, you can always change it up, all right? So we have the tall side plank here, or just a regular old side plank or a staggered side plank if it's all still a work in progress. All right, so 
we hope to see you tomorrow. I'll be running the 12 p.m. with Keith. It'll be Big Wig Tuesday. So if you don't know what that means, you'll have to tune in to find out. Have a nice night.